Welcome to another episode of the Marathon Life's Not a Sprint. It's a marathon. Lace up and subscribe today. It's time for another Q&A and I have been doing these in the morning while I put on my makeup but tonight we are going to do it in the evening while I take off my makeup. Yesterday's vlog was the one where we went to the I Love the 90s show and oh my gosh I think I've watched that vlog like three times. It makes me so happy. So I'm gonna answer your questions and show you what I do for a nighttime skin routine when I'm like literally taking all the time in the world. I don't always do all of these steps, but we're gonna do them tonight. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Sublime Radiance Sensational Cleansing Oil to take off my makeup. Koki's Mom Essential Oils Favorites. I love peppermint oil for when I have a headache. I love lavender in the evening. There's a Peace and Harmony blend that I really like. Um, right now I'm using one called On Guard from doTERRA because it's supposed to help you when you're sick or you're getting sick. Getting off all the makeup. I really like this mascara, but it is so hard to get off. And then this lathers. I don't know if you can see that. See it lathers. Okay, Jody asked, I noticed you use Marcel foundation. Was that a suggestion from your Facialist skin lady or do you just like it? Okay. Um, I use it because It's cruelty free and a YouTuber that I like Kaylin Nicholson showed it in a video And I was like, oh, I should try that because I had used the Garnier BB cream for a thousand years <laughs> and then Decided I wanted to try something that was cruelty free. So that's why I use it. Now I'm going to wash my face using my cleanser. So the cleansing milk from Dermavigils. Question comes from Problem Ocean 01. Sorry, this is probably not the best setup. <laughs> she said, I've been following you for a long time. Thank you. In a previous video, you mentioned that you've experienced anger in your grief. I'm just curious how you've dealt with it because I am struggling with the same thing. Well, first of all, I'm really sorry. Um, honestly, I just allow myself to feel angry and um, I journal about it. I let it pass. I don't stick to it. I really like the quote, anger is like taking poison and hoping that the other person feels the effects because there's literally nothing I can do about it. So, um, I go to therapy. <laughs> this month I have three sessions booked. And I just am working through it, to be honest. I know it's one of the stages of grief and I feel a lot of it, feel a lot of disappointment. And it's just something that I'm working through. Erin said, any bucket list travel destinations? Have you traveled to the east coast of Canada? If not, you and T-Bone are more than welcome to stay with me in PEI. Well, thank you. Uh, I would love, one of my bucket list trips is to travel across Canada, like drive across Canada and then drive back through the States. That's one of my like dreams. I wanna go to Greece. I'd love to go back to New York. Um, I really want to do the Oregon coast with Thomas because I think he would flip and love it. We're going to put on a mask and then I'll sit down. When Leanne and I were shopping, I got this pack of um, face masks from the body shop. Why aren't you focusing? I take my face up. There we go. So it's a four pack. We are going to try the Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask. This one tonight. There we go. And I also bought one of these from the body shop, which I've wanted forever. It seems like such a luxury. It's a brush you use to put on your face mask. So let's try it. I thought this was nice. It was really relatively inexpensive and I didn't know which mask I wanted to buy. I know people rave about this one. Oh, wow. Oh, good content. This actually feels really nice using this brush. <laughs> Although there's so many chunkies in this. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna talk with this on my face for a while, but we can sit down. Here, let's just sit on my floor. Okay, this may have not been my greatest idea. How long does it say to leave it on my face? Five to 10 minutes. I'm actually gonna set a timer because it's burning. Not burning, but it's tingling quite vigorously. This is a question from someone, I didn't get their name. I think it was a PM on Facebook. I wanted to reach out because I thought you'd be the best person because of your experiences. I've dealt with anxiety in the past and last night it hit me really hard. I had a tough time falling asleep because of some of the stuff I've been dealing with in my life recently and when I did finally fall asleep, one of my twins woke up and was awake for a couple hours. I finally got him to sleep when I fell asleep. I had horrible nightmares. I spent hours laying in bed, unable to relax, crying and full of worry. Every time I thought of my nightmares today, I couldn't hold back the tears and my anxiety kicked up again. My question is, how do you shake those nightmares? I know you've mentioned in vlogs that you've had horrible ones recently. I don't ever think I've had nightmares hit me like this before. Okay, you may have nightmares because my face looks like this and my eyes are watering. But I would say, have you thought about getting therapy? I'm not an expert and therapy helps me so much. Also, I keep a journal on my bedside table with a pen, and if I'm up in the middle of the night, I will journal. And that will often help me get my thoughts out and get them on paper and get them out of my head enough for me to fall back asleep. Other things I have been doing is I now have a, an essential oil diffuser beside my bed with lavender, and that seems to help calm me down. I meditate, so I use the Headspace app, and then sometimes in the middle of the night, I will use one of those. Um, I mean, I have so many tips and tricks when it comes to anxiety, but I've learned them all in therapy and I really don't want to get into them, especially when I look like this. How ridiculous is this? Um, but I will say something that's been helping me with my anxiety is not trying to push it away. So when my anxiety comes, I literally picture it and I picture her on the left side of my stomach and I say like, hey, you're there, I see you. I'm not gonna engage with you. We can hang out, but um, I'm not gonna fight you, but I'm not here to talk to you. And I think fighting anxiety is the worst thing that you can do. I'm so, 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 so sorry that you're going through this. So I hope some of those tips help, but I really can't recommend therapy enough. We're journaling. <coughs> Excuse me. This is crazy. What is on my face right now? Okay. Michelle says, sorry you're dealing with this extra stress. It's just a bump in the road. Stay positive and know you have a community behind you of us marathoners in front of you for some guidance and love to light your day when you're feeling the emotions. Thank you. She said, sometimes you might be doing too much, but being busy helps too, so find a balance will be key. Do you feel you are balanced out with how much you're doing and overdoing things? Absolutely. I've said no to a ton, and basically as soon as Thomas goes to bed, I do this, but I usually just wash my face. Often I'll wash it when he is in the bath, and then I go to bed. I get some snacks, and I watch Netflix, or I read, or I watch YouTube, and I'm usually asleep by nine. So for me, that's been a huge balance, is just like checking out once he's done, like knowing that I'll have to get up early. Also, um, I really watch my calendar and once I feel like I have scheduled enough for a day, I stop and I'll say no. Like right now I'm booking appointments into next month because I'm trying to be super mindful of that. But this is new and this is something that I have learned and something that's come with experience and with doing way too much. And then I get annoyed about it and then the result isn't good for anyone, so yeah. Uh, Kaylin said, what's one thing you will treat yourself to this fall? Uh, experiences, I think, to be quite honest. Um, the I Love the 90s show is super fun. In a couple weeks, I'm going to see Miranda Lambert. And then next month, I'm going to the Chamber of Commerce Awards because I've been nominated as Young Business Leader. It's Amber Lee's birthday. And a few of my friends have birthdays. My aunt's coming in November. I bought tickets to see Katy Perry in February, Jerry Seinfeld at the end of November. So experiences. I got so much joy from that 90s show and that concert and going out with my girlfriends that it really, um, I think will carry me for a while. And so I wanna do that more. 
Denise said, I know that Christmas has historically been tough for you and left you feeling sad. Do you have a plan for this year? I hope that you can plan something nice for what will surely be a tougher time than normal. Absolutely, don't you worry. I'm already thinking about Christmas. Um, Bethany said, I've been watching you for years and I can see the improvement with Thomas. Thank you for saying that. All of your comments with Thomas have been so lovely. I have a question, does he go to a public school? And is he in a special ed classroom? Okay, that was five minutes. Should I take it off? Probably. Okay, we're gonna take this off. Thomas is in a public school and he is in a classroom with um, all of his friends. He has a special needs one-on-one -on -one helper and education assistant, assistant. And when he started kindergarten, my goal was that he was in the classroom as much of the time as possible and that is still our goal and um, so far so good this year they've been keeping him in the class a lot he does get breaks and he does go see like the special ed teacher and there's a speech language pathologist and a deaf and hard of hearing teacher but um, he's in the class as much as possible okay let's take this mask off because <laughs> good lord all right, let's take this bad boy off. Claire asked if I feel like vlogging has helped with my grief. A hundred percent for a few reasons, because you guys are so incredible. You're so lovely. Your comments have been helpful when I ask questions. You have really helpful advice. The Marathon or Facebook group gives me a lot of joy. I love the creativity of editing and filming and figuring out different ways to film things. And, um, ooh, that's scratchy. Ooh. Whoa, it has like all this like exfoliant in it. And like I said in a recent vlog, it's honestly just nice to have someone to talk to. Even though I'm just talking to a camera, I really like, I really like it. I like the interaction. I like helping you guys as much as you help me. It is so rewarding and so fulfilling and even more so since Jeremy passed away. I think <clears throat> the instant love and like the overwhelming response after he passed, like that first week, all the videos you guys sent. Um, I swear there's something about these Q and A's that is like cursed. My camera just uh, ran out of memory. So we're gonna finish this on my phone. Sorry guys. I had to take that mask off while I was deciding what I was gonna do because whew, <laughs> it needed to happen. So to finish my answer, vlogging is so helpful and you guys are just, words cannot express what you mean to me. Your love and support and positivity, how you help each other, it's just incredible. I think we're going to leave the questions there because I've answered a lot. And as per usual, I have waffled on. I don't think I'm going to tone. Ooh, that is one red face. Huh, okay, we'll just use some moisturizer tonight, I think. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your questions. Please leave more questions below. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can still feel the little like gritties. Okay, okay. I washed my face so much. Oh, gross. Okay, okay. Oh no. All right, well, my face feels smooth, but oh my God, it's so red. <sighs> I don't know what it is. These Q and A's. I always am like so distracted and all over the place, but I appreciate your questions. Please leave me more questions for the next Q and A. Thank you for watching as always. Here, let me take you off the shelf. Lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to the channel, join the Facebook group, and I will see you in the morning. Uh oh. Um, I really did like this though. Side note, it felt really fancy. Totes unnecessary, but I loved it. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.